National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi there. I'm Dr. Jonathan Beatty, naturopath and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today I want to talk a little bit about children's health and specifically because it's such a broad area, the area that I encounter most in my practice, which is children's neurological health. We're going to be talking a little bit about cognitive function and attention and a little bit about mood because these are some areas that affect many children and often get overlooked in a child's annual physical exam and parents often are at a loss for what to do to help their children manage these conditions. So when we talk about children's health, one of the things that's uh, you know, definitely on the rise in North America is ADHD or Atten Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Often, you know, children are getting in trouble, not paying attention in class, uh, things like that, and that's lead, and they're having trouble concentrating, not retaining the information they need to be doing in class. Now there's a few things that are tried and true that really do help with the management of ADHD and uh, those things are diet and exercise. Um, making sure that your kid has a great opportunity every single day to expend a lot of their physical energy. Children are not used to being forced to sit still for many hours in a day and uh, so we often see higher rates of diagnosis amongst uh, male children than female children and that actually seems to play out that you know male children have more difficulty sitting still for longer periods of time and are therefore more likely to get diagnosed as fidgeting and disruptive in class which are some of the qualifications for ADHD diagnoses. So if you get your kids out, you give them a chance to exercise, burn off some of that excess of energy, they're more capable of being able to sit still in class. Now diet is a whole other host of uh, problems because one of the things with diet is certainly malnutrition. So if you don't have adequate essential fatty acids, these are things like fish oils, uh, your omega-3 fats as many people will refer to them. They're very important at managing ADHD and there's a ton of great research showing how helpful they can be. And typically they're helpful because they're repairing a deficit or somebody has got a nutrient deficiency. And the definition of a nutrient are the basic molecules required to support and sustain life in the absence of disease. So you start to see these symptoms show up, you start to see these conditions show up when children have a deficiency in these necessary nutrients for their brain's normal function. In fact, DHA, which is a fat found in, in fish oil, makes up about 22% of the weight of the brain. So if you've got a deficiency in there, you can see how impactful that may be if one-fifth of your entire brain is made up of that fat. So it's very important for neurological function, very important for managing ADHD. And I've seen some miraculous turnarounds in some of my patients with interventions as simple as taking a fish oil supplement high in DHA. Uh, other things that you wanna be focused on too, in addition to attention, is mood. And so again, many children uh, are now being diagnosed with anxiety and depression and in some cases that same deficiency of DHA or these fish oils that are often found in the brain can manifest not as attention deficit but actually manifest as anxiety and depression. And so again, treatment with a good fish oil can be very helpful. Also, vitamin D deficiencies are heavily associated with uh, depression as well. We often refer to it as seasonal affective disorder. Now, uh, we see it a lot in kids because, of course, in the winter they're covered up, protected from the cold, and in Canada uh, it's very hard for us to get enough sun exposure to create vitamin D. And then, of course, all summer, children are covered in sunscreen to prevent uh, sunburn, but of course what also gets blocked out there is the sun's ability to manufacture vitamin D in the skin, and so kids are very uh, prone to vitamin D deficiencies that can lead to conditions like anxiety and depression. So if you suffer from any of these conditions or if you've got children that suffer from these conditions, some of these recommendations may help get rid of those symptoms. So I hope this uh, little video has helped you out, answered some of your questions. If you do have any other questions, please post them below. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, remember, knowledge is health.